question is from Phoebe's Cray K. I live in France and gyms may be forced to close due to the coronavirus. What are some tips to maintain muscle during this period of time? This is uh, uh, going to be much more of a common question, I, I think, because yeah. of because of this this problem. Um, well, obviously, if you have home gym equipment, you're totally fine, right? You can work out at home. You could, if you have a barbell, dumbbells, adjustable bench, you're pretty much set. You could do almost any exercise uh, and train every body part with that type of basic equipment. But let's say you don't. Let's say you don't have any equipment whatsoever. Um, what are some good, I guess, body weight, you know, no gym required uh, type exercises and workouts? Now, we created a program specifically uh, around this um, called Maps Anywhere. So it's a, it's a full workout program that doesn't need or require equipment. It just requires bands and your body weight. Um, there's a couple things you could do to make body weight exercises more challenging because my the thing for me with body weight exercises, like a like a body weight squat sometimes is – uh, it gets too easy. Like how many, how many of these do I need to do before, you know, I start to feel these or whatever. Cause I don't have, you know, 200 or 300 pounds on my back. Um, just move to one leg, you know, single, uh, you know, one limb type movements like, uh, single leg squats or pistol squats, one arm pushups, um, very effective exercises, uh, lots of resistance. And you can get great workouts with some of these. Also, this is a great time to do uh, tempo and uh, isolation exercises too, or isometric mm -hmm. exercises. Isometric, yeah, yes. isometric and and tempo uh, stuff is great. Like, man, I, I I can take somebody and do ten body weight squats and make it extremely intense. Slow. Oh yeah, slow it down. Do an isometric hold at the bottom of it, and uh, yeah, watch you get. And I mean. Uh, of course, uh, another great option is if you can do a single leg squat, but that's that's normally a really big jump, right? A lot of people uh, you could you could assist. I guess you could hold on to something while yeah, doing, right? but st even then, still really hard for a lot of people, mobility wise, strength wise, to make the jump from okay, body weight squats are really easy for me. Uh, let me go to a single leg pistol. Like mm -hmm. even with the assistance, it's it's tip it's it's typically pretty challenging for most people. So I my first way to progress body weight squats is just simply slowing down the tempo and doing isometric holds at the bottom and you can make uh those really really challenging so and then if you have the the ankle mobility and hip mobility to do and strength to do a single leg squat i think that's a, a, a excellent advice but. i think to rubber bands uh now that we have uh different versions like they they have some now that are really uh, you know, applied a, a lot of like thickness to it. So it's got like more weight resistance um, that, that you can really like challenge yourself with. Like before it used to be like, if I worked out with bands, it was basically like, I mean, this is, it's pretty light. It, was, it wasn't any much better than like working out with just your body weight. But I think there's a lot more options now uh, with these these thick bands that you can really get uh, some serious uh, resistance that that you know you can work against and, and do pretty much just about every exercise you can think of um, as long as you have something to wrap it around. And uh, like our I know is that rubber bandits we have has handles for these as well as too. So you can still do like all kinds of stuff. Dude, like seriously, you could do you know and. I did this years ago, uh, traveled to Southern Italy with my, with my family and the small town that we were staying in, they have a gym that just so happened to be closed for the entire month of, uh, that we were there. So I had no gym to go to unless I went to the next town, but I didn't have a car. So all I had access to was a pull-up bar, uh, resistance bands and my body. And I had phenomenal workouts. Obviously with the pull-up bar, you can do all you, one of the best back exercises known to man, which is pull-ups. Um, you could do all kinds of pressing exercises for the upper body by elevating your feet, which increases the resistance. You could balance with your feet up against the wall if you want to do upside-down push-ups. Those can, tend to be very difficult. And then, of course, you can use bands. But here's something else that I found. Because of the lack of high resistance for a lot of exercises, uh, frequency become became more important. So normally when I'd go to a gym, for example, I'd hit full body maybe three days a week with heavy weights. But now let's say I'm at home, I don't have access to heavy weights. Well, now uh, increase the frequency. So instead of doing three days a week, do six days a week. Six days a week, I'm training the whole body with a 30 to 45 minute body weight band based workout. And you'll actually get um, some, some pretty damn good results. In fact, what you may actually notice is if you switch out of the gym and do that for, let's say, two or three months or even one month and then go back to the gym, you may actually find 
that you have better stability, better fitness. It's a new novel stimulus. This may this may be an opportunity for you to change up your workout so much that it gets your body uh, to actually respond. And in, in, at the very least, it'll prevent uh, lots of fitness loss and muscle loss and, and that kind of stuff. So frequency becomes more important when you don't have the the weight that will create the tension that you want. 